my friends, happy Friday. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait a second. Mr. Wheeler usually comes on our TVs on Monday or maybe Tuesday. It's Friday. Why is he here? Well, that's because I've got great news. Next week is going to be an awesome week. So this week we had our parent-teacher conferences. Next week is Red Ribbon Week and Halloween. So we have something special every day of the week, and I wanted you guys to know so you can spend the weekend planning what you're going to wear. So on the first day, Monday, we're going to be wearing red. Wear red on Monday. This is to kick off our Red Ribbon Week, okay? And we'll be talking about what we mean, like what Red Ribbon Week means and all that stuff next week, don't you worry. But on Monday, I want to see as many of you as possible wearing red, okay? Tuesday, Tuesday is from head to toe, I'm drug free, right? Red Ribbon Week is about making a pledge to be drug free. So we're going to do crazy hair and crazy socks on Tuesday. Tuesday is from head to toe, I'm drug free. So crazy hair, crazy socks. On Wednesday, Wednesday, we're going to put drugs to sleep. So we're all going to show up in our pajamas. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. So so uh, Wednesday is pajama day. Make sure that you wear shoes with your pajamas. I don't know about you, but I don't usually wear shoes into bed because you know, I'm not a crazy person. So make sure though, because you're going to be here at school, that you wear shoes. Then Thursday, Thursday is uh, winners don't do drugs. We're going to do Jersey Day. So wear your favorite jersey. It can be a player. It can be a team. It can be any type of sports, whatever. Just your favorite jersey. That's uh, Thursday. Thursday's Jersey Day. And then Friday, and this is an important one. Friday is when we're going to celebrate here at our school, Halloween, okay? Now, it's going to be a little bit different. We will talk about what exactly we're doing and whatnot, but on Friday, you can wear your costumes to school. Now, you may be asking yourself, um, Mr. Wheeler, uh, <clears throat> so what are the rules of it, uh, for our costumes? I'm glad you asked. I have looked in our long, long ago archives, all the way back to October of last year, to find old footage to explain our Halloween rules. So we're going to play that for you right now. No costume masks or face painting of any kind. It doesn't matter if you're a... Thunderbird! Woo! A weird, creepy old man. The world's most amazing gorilla magician. Or whatever this is. I, I, I don't know why you'd wear this anyways. But whatever this is, no dice. No costume masks at all and no face painting. Rule number two, all of our costumes must follow all of the Westminster School District dress standards. Listed on page five of the Parent Student Rights and Responsibilities Handbook. Guys, basically, if it's not appropriate to be worn at school, you shouldn't be wearing it. Okay, you can check out where that all those rules are online, but you guys are smart kids. You know what you can and can't wear to school. That's very important. Rule number three, no weapons, no blood, no gore may be part of the costume. If you don't know what gore means, that's okay. Basically, nothing gross or disgusting or that implies somebody got hurt or whatever. We don't want that, okay? We're here, this is a happy environment. We want everybody to be happy and to learn while they're here. So nothing that's gonna make people go, oh, right? None of that stuff. Okay. Rule number four, no accessories. Anything that you're carrying around or that could fall off of your head or whatever. That means anything like a gavel or a wig or 
like weird glasses or a hat or anything ridiculous like that. I don't care if you're a salsa dancing, patriotic judge who sells used cars. No accessories. Sorry, guys. Rule number five. Now, I hope that this one is common sense, but just in case it's not, your costume has to permit you to come to school and learn, right? So if you can't sit down in it, if you can't walk around on campus, um, you can't wear it. Because even though we're gonna be having a lot of fun on Friday and we want you guys to have a good time and we wanna do this and, and have fun, we still, our number one priority is, of course, that you guys are here and safely learning on our campus, okay? So, sorry, but you have to be able to actually learn if you're wearing a costume on campus. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I think you guys all understand that, but make sure that you can walk, you can sit in your desk, you can write, you can walk around the campus and not be knocking things over and, and whatever. Rule number six. Okay, last rule. And I think this one may be mostly for Mr. Wheeler because Mr. Wheeler gets pretty dang scared. No scary costumes. Okay, so if it's from like Scream or Chucky or t anything that's going to scare Mr. Wheeler. Okay, I need my sleep and if you guys dress scary, I won't be able to sleep. So, no scary costumes. Okay, otherwise Mr. Wheeler will show up on Monday like this. I didn't sleep all weekend, I was too scared. And that's all the rules. Okay, my friends. This is gonna be a fun day, but we need to follow these rules for two reasons. Number one, we still have to learn while we're on campus, okay? Our, our number one job, keep you safe and allow you to learn, right? That's, that's why we're here. Okay guys, so that is the rules for Halloween. So Friday is going to be our Halloween dress up day. We're super excited about it, but make sure that you follow all those, those rules. We wouldn't want to have to send anybody back home or back to your parents' car to go and change because you're wearing something that you shouldn't be wearing. Remember, we do have to wear our masks while we're inside on campus. And so we, you know, so that's why, that's one of the reasons why we don't wear face masks. Also, we like your beautiful faces. We want to see your faces. So uh, make sure you're following all of the rules and um, then we'll be able to have a really good time on, on Friday. Okay. Other than that, I think that's all for today. So you guys have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. And as always, go learn some stuff.